Well, it's now become a consistent record of woke liberal SJW Disney to, to just put up failure after failure after failure. And in this case, they've actually managed to butcher a pretty much a money-making machine. You know, the franchise of Star Wars, which is, you know, when they bought it, it would have been a money-making, you know, money-printing franchise. But they've butchered it so badly to now where, you know, there's now an industry, industry uh, insider who's revealing that pretty much it's terrible. Yeah. It's, it's a bunch of, it's sad, but hey, you know, it's the reality that we're stuck in, apparently. This is on Inside the Magic. Insider, uh, sorry, Industry Insider reveals why Disney's Star Wars is terrible. Despite having a few successes, fans don't think Star Wars was a hit, uh, has hit its true, uh, true potential due to Disney letting Lucasfilm have a poor handle on the franchise, according to one Industry Insider. Yeah, you, you got people who are inside the company who are saying, yeah, pretty much it sucks. That's the state of current woke liberal SJW Disney. I'm, I'm telling you, Walt must be spinning in his grave right now. Uh, in the article, it says, After seeing the sequel trilogy, fans knew that Palpatine wasn't meant to be the great villain for the new trilogy. J.J. Abrams works along, uh, so alongside Ryan Johnson's controversial Star Wars Episode Nine: The Last Jedi, uh, divided fans beyond what anyone had ever seen. Now, the Star Wars trend uh, appears to be a lower, sorry, a full of lower budgeted Disney Plus series emphasizing quick, snappy moments rather than telling character driven story. Tr uh, Tony Gilroy's Andor might change that by showing fans an in depth story on Diego Luna's cast in Andor, but this series might be the exception to the glaring problem at Lucasfilm. Who would have ever thought that Star Wars would be, would be reduced to that? Just a bunch of low-budget TV shows because it's failing so badly at the box office. I mean, just that wording, Star Wars failing at the box office, would have got you, would essentially have people laughing at you a couple years ago. Now it's the reality. Uh, continuing on in the article, for instance, fans uh, won't see a Star Wars movie until maybe 2025, but that all depends on whether or not Lucasfilm can agree on a script and start production soon. For three years, fans have waited with several promises for more movies on the way, but no work has been done to fulfill that promise. So fans have been left with no movie since the dreadful sequel trilogy. Looking back at Lucasfilm's decision over the past few years, it becomes evident that something has hindered their successes. Because even though movies like Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens broke box office records, Star Wars could uh, be dominating the box office over and over again if they had done things differently. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, they, the, the, I mean, the, I mean, me personally, I, 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 I mean, I wouldn't call myself a fan per se. I mean, it definitely was part of my childhood. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I think it's a great, you know, series and everything else. It's got you know some fun stuff, some great action scenes, but you know. Personally, I mean, this is coming from a kind of a non-fan perspective. If they want to make things right, they should just retcon the entire sequel trilogy and just pretend that doesn't exist. Um, that would be a good place to start, I'll put it that way. And also, uh, redo Galaxy's Edge, you know, and make it an actual Star Wars theme park. You know, again, this is just a non-fan perspective. But continuing on in the article... Uh, he, oh, sorry, he continues about how Lucasfilm has failed to have new ideas for Star Wars, talking about the industry insider. He continues how Lucasfilm has failed to have new ideas for Star Wars movies, which is why the company has failed to release good quality movies in the past decade. So the management, this is what he says, uh, what he says in the thing. So the management there has been awful and they basically put a pause on movies. Kathleen Kennedy has hired director after director to try to figure out uh, what these stories are going to be. She hasn't had a plan with uh that's worth greenlighting. Rogue Squadron movie that uh, Patty Jenkins was going to direct that was just officially taken off the calendar for next December, even though everyone in Hollywood knew that wasn't happening because they couldn't come up with a storyline they wanted to. That's despite having a big announcement where Patty Jenkins got uh, an investor day at, for Disney and talked about how great her Star Wars movie was going to be and that they didn't know what was going to or what was going to be yet. There was a big PR mistake to do that. Uh, I think just to focus on streaming over the last, they got lucky that Favreau made The Mandalorian what it was. And all other shows have had some, uh, sort of had some sort of come in that vein and they're fine, but Star Wars is no longer special. The movies are, uh, no, sorry, the movies are dormant and that's a big problem. I strongly believe they need a change at Lucasfilm. Well, here's a good place to start. Get rid of Kathleen Kennedy because she seems to be a big problem per se. I mean, from what I've heard about her, she's butchering you know, the, the franchise. So, I mean, a good place to start here. Like, here's what I would, I would recommend, you know, and I'm just, you know, some guy on YouTube, you know, I, I'm kind of a non-fan. I'm just a guy who likes Star Wars, uh, part of my childhood. But first of all, retcon the sequel trilogy, but just pretend that just doesn't exist. Uh, so that, like, I guess make a new trilogy and just say, forget, forget the sequel trilogy and then get rid of Kathleen Kennedy. 
you know, get rid of her feminist, uh, you know, woke SJW ideology and actually hire somebody who actually does care about the franchise. That would be my recommendation. But, you know, they're not going to listen to that because they're going to keep pushing their woke liberal SJW agenda and kind of ignore the fact that it basically, you know, cost them millions of dollars at the box office to, to please a bunch of blue haired weirdos, a bunch of blue haired liberal feminists on, on the Internet who just whine and complain over everything. Anyway, that's that's kind of my rant for the day. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.